Alright guys, Finn here, and today I am on my iPod again, and, uh, basically, this is a video, because a while ago, I was on the internet, and I found an app called GBA for iOS, and it's a Game Boy Advance emulator, and you did not need to be jailbroken to use it, and at the time, you could just download it and use it, and everything was fine. But Apple had some kind of patch that made it impossible to download unless you were a developer. And I was on the internet and I found a way, I mean, I found like a pretty permanent way to get it to work. But I, I, I couldn't find a video about it, so I decided to make one. So what you're going to want to do is open up Safari and go to... Uh, emu for ios.weebly.com slash downloads.html the link will be in the description you go here and you scroll down and they have a bunch of stuff here uh, iMovie for free I, for iPad GBA for iOS uh, Game Boy Color emulator a DOS emulator uh BitTorrent, Nintendo DS emulator, NES, two iOS screen recorders, Super Nintendo, and yeah, they have a bunch of stuff here. So what you want to do is, well, close out of that for a minute, open up your settings and go to general, date and time, set date and time, and go back to any time before July 16th, 2013. So if you just scroll to 2012, it's the easiest. Then open Safari back up and choose your app application. I'm going to select GBA for iOS and hit install. And if you try, when you when it's done downloading, which it doesn't take very long at all, if I go back and set it to 2013, it works. But if I had downloaded it, let me just show you an example of this. I'm set for 2013, reload the page, application, GBA for iOS install. If I didn't change my date back, what happens is that it doesn't download correctly, or even at all, really. So, set it to 2012, and download it. Now, something I'm going to note is... You can only have one of these applications at a time. If you download another, it will replace whatever you previously had installed. So all the apps on that page, you can only have one. So I downloaded it on 2012, and then you simply set it back to 2013. That's all you gotta do, and then it works. Now, there's a bunch of settings here. You can change the skins, set up autosave, a bunch of cool stuff. And to get ROMs, hit search, open Safari, and it'll bring up a few websites. Uh, I recommend CoolROM.com. It's a pretty good website. And Top 25 rated. I'm just going to download Pokemon Emerald. So let that load up. Scroll down and hit download now. This blue uh, loading bar at the top is your progress bar. So when that's done loading it will open a separate page and when it loads it'll bring you to this hit open in GBA for iOS which is in the top right and here you go Pokemon Emerald uh, something I'm going to note is the audio is quite glitchy, but this is, this is if you aren't jailbroken. I mean, it's a pretty good app. Uh, there is, uh, Riley Test It, the creator, is going to update it so you don't need to do this anymore, 
but for now this is a temporary fix and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, remember to leave a comment like subscribe and I will see you guys next time <laughs>